Welcome to Breaking Crypto News. Proposal submitted to remove Zaradar from Terra Classic L1 team. As we start the news about Terra Luna, please subscribe now to get the next Terra Luna news. The proposal claims that Zaradar is allegedly predisposed to bend the truth for his gains. A Terra Classic proposal to remove Tobias Zaradar Anderson from the recently formed Joint L1 Task Force has been submitted for voting. The proposal alleges that Zaradar's presence does not benefit the Terra Classic blockchain. Proposal 113A3, submitted 19 hours ago as of press time, points out that working on the Terra Classic blockchain goes beyond an individual's software development skills but also requires professionalism. The proposal alleges that Zaradar lacks the sense of professionalism, claiming that he is predisposed to bend the truth for his own personal gain. Furthermore, the fact that the community pool funds the L1 team was called to attention. According to the proposal, individuals getting paid by the community to carry out work on the blockchain should be factual and truthful. Given this requirement, the proposal concluded that the survival of the Terra Classic chain is at stake should Zaradar be allowed to retain his role in the L1 team and he should be replaced with someone else. Responding to the proposal, Zaradar quoted a renowned statement from Sir Winston Churchill, a former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. You have enemies? Good. That means you've stood up for something sometime in your life. The votes cast on the proposal so far suggest that the community does not agree with the content of the text. As of the time of writing, 18 validators have voted, with 6 votings no and 11 opting for no with veto. Only one validator has chosen to abstain, and none has voted yes to the proposal. Voting on the proposal is expected to close in 6 days, but the community consensus has already exceeded the veto threshold as of press time. The L1 team has made considerable progress. Recall that the L1 team was formed last December following Zaradar's departure from the Terra Rebels group. The team, formed by Zaradar and Edward Kim, released its first funding proposal on December. 24, seeking $141,000 plus for work on the LUNC chain for Q1 2023. Despite concerns raised then due to the financial issue with Terra Rebels, the community voted to approve the L1 team funding. Two months back, it was reported that the group had made considerable headway in its proposed Q1 work, staying ahead of its schedule. Thanks for watching, see you in the next Terra Luna news, please do not forget subscribe. Disclaimer, the information provided on this video does not constitute investment advice. Financial advice, trading advice, for informational purposes only. You should not treat any of the video's content as such. Please, consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.